Pardon the interruption, but I'm Mike Wilbine, and guess who's finally back on the set with me? You were expecting somebody else? Oh, it's Friday. Who would you expect? They called me like two hours ago. Friday Frank. That's better than Luckily, Frank. I was in the neighborhood. That's better than Philly and Frank. Friday Mowing Frank. Mike's lawn. A seller? 30 bucks he pays. You're not bad. You don't take the bus down here, are you? Huh? A seller? I'm trying to save the company money. Oh, stop. Something you wouldn't know anything about. Please, they, bus. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. <laughs> Welcome to PTI. Uh, Tony has the day off, so I am joined happily by our great friend, Mr. Frank Isola. Yeah. The only people that like it. People out here on this thing. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yes. Getting the cup is going to be next. Let's start with the Eagles beating the Vikings by six in Philly last night. The Vikings turned the ball over four times, and the team that won 13 games last season now sits 0 2. The Eagles are 2 0. But neither of their wins has been particularly impressive to a lot of people. Frank, should either the Vikings or the <laughs> Eagles feel good about their performance last night? Well, the Vikings aren't going to feel good. I mean, they have, they've lost six fumbles in two games. How about that one by Justin Jefferson? Yeah. Which really changed the momentum of the game. That changed everything. But I'm going to feel okay if I'm the Eagles because I haven't played my best. I've won on the road at New England. And last night, I get a win at home. First time I've played at home since going to the Super Bowl. Then you have DeAndre Swift rushing for 175 yards. But the point. concern is going to be Jalen Hurts. That's the big one. How about late in the game with A.J. Brown getting into it with him? You know, A.J. Brown is looking a little selfish. Your team is winning, and you're worried about not getting the ball. I get it. They have that kind of relationship. I'm concerned about Jalen Hurts, but I'm 0-2 as I'm concerned with him. Yeah, the thing about Philadelphia, look, the notion that they're going to win every game and look like the, you know, 72 Dolphins. Yep. Okay, let's slow our roll a little bit. I mean, they've got, we know they've got a great defense. That rushing performance last night was important. It was important to Jalen Hurts yep. and important to that team. The Vikings were a bit desperate having lost already at home in week one. So they're facing a Minnesota team that really needed to win, had some urgency about it. They still beat them. And so Philly is also a team that's been in the Super Bowl, and they're going to get everybody's best shot, particularly right. people in the conference who think they can take the Eagles and the Vikings were qualified. So... Yeah, I think the Eagles ought to be fine with their performance. I know there's going to be massive overreaction to everything that happens yeah. in Philadelphia with that team this year. I hear you about Hurts. I wonder, like, I don't want to overreact to this. They're 2-0. and I still think that they are, along with the 49ers, and it, let's see about Dallas, the class of the NFC so far. So I'm not down on yeah. Philly after and, last and night. Devontae Smith is a player. And you think about the yes, size he is. that he is. I mean, it, it is pretty spectacular what he can do. How concerned are you with A.J. Brown, though, getting into with Jalen Hurts? Nick Sariani said after the game, oh, no, I even no. wasn't aware of it. Meanwhile, he was standing right there. He was, it was happening. That's just a straight yeah. up lie. But I, but I don't think much of it. I don't, I don't think much of people getting into it in creative situations like that. By the way... I do a show where I'm called on to disagree with my co-host for <laughs> yeah. 20 years plus. So, no, I don't, I don't ever read too much into that. And I think, how many times are those, those, those in-game oh. blow-ups ever? Especially in football. Tells? Where it's an emotional, yes, physical you're game. Yes, you're supposed they to have all them. The time. Yes. But when Nick Sirianni is telling the media. Yeah, I didn't believe that. Like, I didn't believe that. We'll tell you when you need to know something. No, the media decides the, the, what you know, they want to know. Yeah. You could decide whether or not you, you want to answer You can decide how question. to handle it. Exactly. We've seen Belichick exactly. and Coach Pop, just yeah. to mention two guys, handle that all the time in the best interest of team, but we're going to ask. Yeah. Trust and me. I think it also takes a while. You see this a lot early on in the NFL season. Sometimes it takes a while for the offense to they catch can. up a little bit to the defense. Well, especially when people and don't he didn't play folks during the preseason. I know. They don't even bother. The games that you have the to pay fraud. for, the players don't play in. And fraud. Nick Sirianni admitted it's after fraud. the New England game, maybe we'll change that around. Consumers yeah. should yeah. revolt. All right, let's move to Sunday's slate of games. It features two presumed AFC powers, the Chiefs and the Bengals, both trying to keep from starting 0-2. 13 games in all, Mike. Which do you see as Sunday's juiciest? Well, we're going to disqualify a game I see as the most important game I'm going to watch, which is Bears at Tampa, because <laughs> nobody else gives a damn you about that. You care that much about Bears Mayfield. Two markets. That's why you're watching that. No. Okay. There's one game. from I, I singled it out last week, and that's Chiefs at Jags. Even if the Chiefs had won, I'd be saying Chiefs at Jags. The Chiefs, of course, coming off yep. that loss, opening week loss to Detroit. And the Jaguars, look, I, I know a lot of people came into the season caring more about Aaron Rodgers, caring more about Dak Prescott, caring more, you know, you have whatever 
Um, I care more about Trevor Lawrence. I want to see, is Trevor Lawrence going to take this step that so many people presume he's going to take? He seems yeah. perfectly paired with a head coach who gets him. They're in tune with each other. But I want to see Trevor Lawrence. And now that the Chiefs are 0-1 and have their yeah. own needed sense of urgency, what do we got in this yeah. game, Frank? That's the game I'm looking yeah. at. And one thing about the Chiefs' dominance, you know, since Mahomes has been there, they've played 11 home playoff games. The road to the Super Bowl always goes through Ooh, Kansas KC, City, yeah. which that's why starting out 0-2 could be trouble for them. All right, you don't want to be Chicago-centric, so I'll be New York-centric. For me, it's the Jets in Dallas. First of all, Dallas demolished the New York Giants. Yeah. They sacked yeah. Daniel Jones. That was a total mess that Sunday night New game. York, New York, back-to-back. But, back. but that's a 40 nothing game, and now you have a Jet, and the Jets have a big-time defense. Now, I'm not going to be like everyone today. I'm not. They're not the 85 Bears. No, so we'll pump not. the brakes on that. They're, they're not. not even the 86 Please. Giants, and certainly not, they're not the even the 84 Bears. Ravens. So stop. stop. We'll Please, slow down New on York. all that. Please. But that defense is legit, and it, Josh it Allen like helped it. them out. But so we'll see how their defense does against Dallas. But the big thing here is going to be Zach Wilson because Zach yes. Wilson is replacing Aaron Rodgers. A lot of talk. Should the Jets go out and get somebody? Robert Sala did the right thing this week. You're not going to say publicly, yeah, we're a little concerned about our quarterback. Well, maybe we should look somewhere else. He's not going to say that. You have to show support for the young guy. Now, they have a tough schedule coming up. We'll see how Zach Wilson does. Give the guy some credit. I know he hasn't been good since he came into the league. He did lead them to 10 points in the fourth quarter against Buffalo. Your job as a quarterback, how many times have you seen it? Your guy, Rex Grossman, made it to a Super Bowl. Neil O'Donnell has made it to a Super Bowl. They manage the games, and Zach Wilson did a pretty good job in the second half of managing that game. For me, that's the big God help us all if he goes to Dallas and he wins that game. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the well, overstatement and the overreaching yeah. will just be seismic. And I'll really be sick of the Jets then, even without yeah. Aaron Rodgers. A couple of games here. Buffalo at home, Bengals at home, Patriots at home. If they all, any of them lose, I don't put the Patriots in that category. Patriots lose. I don't put the Patriots in that category. First time 0 and 2. Bengals since 2001. Let's, let's see what Joe's got. Yeah. I mean, it, well, the Bengals were probably yeah. overstated. I know they made a trip to the Super Bowl. I get it. Let's see the Bengals carry this over season after season after season. Let's, let's see them do this three or four years what? before I grant this status and stature yeah. to the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. What happens to the universe if the Cowboys win on oh. Sunday? Two and a What's going to be more overstated, the <laughs> Jets winning or the Cowboys winning? Cowboys winning. Cowboys winning. Jerry Jones is going to start making plans for the Super Bowl if they go 2-0. Let's move to Giannis, <laughs> as in Antetokounmpo, revisiting the notion that he could leave Milwaukee Giannis told the 48 Minutes podcast that as long as the Bucks franchise commits to winning another title, he can see playing within the rest of his career. However, to quote somebody else on this network that I love dearly, he added, quote, if there's a better situation for me to win the Larry O'Brien trophy, I have to take that better situation. Close quote. Giannis first floated this about a month ago, Frank. What do you make of him doubling down? That's why I'm surprised that he did double down on Why, you thought he because back, it made such back a away reaction. from it? Now, listen, you and I, I'm not going to speak for you, but we both know Giannis and we both like him. We I do. love the guy. The guy, the guy is yes, terrific. He's one of the guys that. you ask him a question, he's going to give you Get the a answer. a real answer. But I don't think it's the right tone to set from this standpoint. Because you're saying the organization has to do everything it can. That's what they've done up to this point. And they've won a championship. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second, Mike. Last year, they had the best record in the yeah, NBA. They, they got knocked out in five games. They did. The number one reason they got knocked out Giannis, was number 34, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Agreed. But, Frank. He couldn't make – he was 13 – he was he had two, 13 he had, of 23. Not only was he hurt, but he did have a bad game when he did play. Yeah. Wait, hold on for a second. I don't, I don't like their offseason. There are three teams all in the East I don't like their offseason. Philly, for obvious reasons, yep. through no fault of anybody's really, except James Harden doing what yep. James Harden's going to do. The Celtics? I mean, you're not going to tell me that Marcus Smart going somewhere else, you losing your heart and soul is a good thing. I, and you, Grant Williams. I don't, two and, tough guys. and Grant Williams. They're two physically toughest guys. And I don't like Milwaukee. They didn't get any better. I know they kept the guys they had to keep, but they didn't get any but, better. But, Mike, they did have the best record in the NBA. And, by the way, the teams Giannis got missed 19 games last year, and they had the best record in the NBA. How do they make you a bet right now about Milwaukee? And it's interesting because as you sit here, Mr. New York, Let's face it, the place that is most talked about Giannis going with the enormous Greek community 
is New York City. Let's not, let's not be coy about yep. that, all right? And so I'm not going to accuse a team of tampering. I can accuse a city of tampering because yeah. they show Giannis more love than any city without a player is showing. But, Frank, I don't see Milwaukee having gotten better. I may take New York, the Knicks, to have a better record yeah. than Milwaukee this I'll take regular I'm gonna, season. I'm going to bet you on that. I think a couple of years ago, everyone was linking Giannis to the Golden State Warriors. He looked like he finished eh. perfectly there. But eh. by the time he becomes a free agent, you're looking at Steph, Clay, Draymond, eh. a little bit older. The no. key is going to be Drew Holiday because Drew Holiday is going to be a free agent, can opt out of his contract. Yeah. I think if Drew Holiday resigns with the Milwaukee Bucks, I think eventually Giannis will do the same. By the way, you mentioned – By the way, but Middleton's got to be healthy. Uh, well, Brooke Lopez is 107 uh, years old it. and, and he's fabulously valuable. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I love him. I, I'm and not they traded, And Milwaukee. they traded a lot of their picks to get you I'm holiday. Loving... Funny you mentioned Queens, though. First time I ever met Giannis, he was a young teenager. I said, you ever heard of Astoria, Queens? That's the big neighborhood in New York that has all, a huge Greek population. Okay. Said, yeah, of course I've heard of Astoria. Of course he's he has. with New York. They're, they're tampering. New now the big tampering. question is that you heard of Jalen Brunson. Throw those alley-oops, Jim. That's why they're going to have a better record than the Bucks. I'll bet you on that. Let's take a break. We're coming up. Could the Colorado State-Colorado game be closer than most people expect? And is the idea of Nick Saban retiring after this season really laughable? I'm going to take I, this is a serious bet. How I'm many games are going to win? Over 50? 51 or 52 games. I'll take that bet. Welcome back to the PTI Psychic Hotline, where the producers make Frank wear very silly clothes, but no better than to ask me. Still, I sense the first call. Hi, Frank. Hi, Mike. Do you see the Colorado-Colorado State game being closer than most people think it will be? No. I don't know what they think. The people are exaggerating, Frank, and we know this game now is the must-see game of the week in college football to me. Uh, especially since Jay Norvell decided to get personal with <laughs> Deion Sanders. Um, I still see that what's out of the spread might be 22 or 23. I see a 20 plus point victory by Colorado. This thing could go the other way. The other team could rally around their coach and feel he's been yeah. disrespected. But I think Deion, by the way, handing out to his players oh, sunglasses, yeah. that was just it was the light touch and the right touch, I think. But no, I see a blowout. Yeah. 24 points. 24 is up the lines up to now. You think Colorado State's coach, it almost had a little, like, wrestling, heavyweight boxing, no. where I'm trying to hype it up no. a little bit. Who knew who this guy was before this game? Okay, nobody. You got to go back to Chicago but, and the Spare Bears because he played on the – he played with the Bears in the strike-shortened yeah. season. But, but here's my thing. A hundred years ago. Dion looks for the one little slight he that he sees he that he look. that's out there. For the most part, look. Mike, everyone is on is riding the wave like they're the Anaheim yeah, Mighty Ducks, like a Disney but movie. But they weren't a few months ago. No, they trashed him the whole offseason, including the Nebraska coach. Well, hang on. What he did was wrong when he filmed himself humiliating those kids that he was going to kick off the team. You do that in private. Okay. I think for the most part, people have thought, oh, this is now, great. And guess what? Then. What he's doing... It's exactly what all the college basketball coaches do. Rick Pitino's doing that at St. John's. He's using the transfer portal to build his team. I, I'm He's with you. more than playing the only the part rules. where I disagree with you is they, they, they took their shots. Name they them. took name, shots name at Dion. Name me Look, some names. I don't keep the receipts. That's up to Dion, okay? I know who I they are. I think most people have been for him and I, supportive. No. And if he no. lost 50 to nothing, that's not a referendum but, on the, as, as a coach. I, but I tell but you it doesn't what, mean they're going to win the national championship because they're I heard stuff from coaches who don't say boo. And analysts, analysts who yeah. don't ever criticize other college coaches. They never do. They took yeah. their shots at Dion, yep. okay? Some at this network. And fine, you can take your shots. But then other people can take shots yeah. back. And right. that's what they don't like. But I think it's the same thing with Calipari when he coached college basketball and he was doing one and done. Everybody said, oh, you, I can't believe he's doing that. Now everybody does that. What Dion is doing, though, 
is well within the rules and he's winning. I'm agreeing with all that. But I, I just, just think he's want... finding one or two people. He didn't not, find it. it. it a like guy everyone, when a guy it. says, well, my everyone. mother taught me, yep. what that says is, I don't think you should per- parenthetically, that. I don't think you should your said mother that. must I not agree. have taught you. That's what I you agree. hear. I agree. All right? I also so think Dion he... didn't do that. That was uh, Dion just said, wait a minute, what fell on my lap? I think it was calculated, though. I'm not saying it was right. I think it was calculated. You know what's going to calculate tomorrow? The runoff of the points. I think you're right about that, too. What about right. the next caller? Hey, guys. Do you see the idea of Nick Saban retiring at the end of the season to be laughable? Not laughable. Not laughable. Nick Saban is, what, 71 years old? 71. Um, I don't see it as laughable. I, I think you can pose the question. But Saban's reaction, I find to be, I think it's genuine. No. No. He's, he doesn't seem interested in that at yeah. all. And I know, you know, what's interesting. Saban has a team right now that's lost a game. They don't seem to be as good as Georgia, you know, coached by one of the people he formerly mentored. Yep. He's changing quarterbacks already, Nick Saban is, yep. tomorrow, this early in the Tyler season. Tyler Buckner from Notre Dame. So they don't France. seem to be great, but I ain't saying he's on the way out. Like, he's got yeah. to go. Yeah, that laughable quote, he said it on the Pat McAfee show, and you mentioned the loss. That's their second non-conference home loss in 17 years under Nick Saban. A long time. But here are the numbers, and you said it. 71 years old, eight years, $93.6 million. He signed that in 2022. Yeah. Now, Nick Saban, first of all, he hasn't lost it as a coach. The guy is a no. tremendous coach. He could still recruit terrific players. His quarterback just won the Heisman. This happens, you know, so you bring in a new guy. Now they're going to a different uh, quarterback. I, I mentioned the transfer from Notre Dame. Well, why would he retire? He said, what are you, you going to tell me? He's lost something off his fastball? No, I, mean, I think that. people started asking these questions about Mike Krzyzewski, and Mike was beyond 71. And at some point, yes, I get we're it. going to retire. Yep. People asking about Pop, though, and he didn't. He just re-upped, didn't he? Yeah. Now, it helps when you get Picked what is thought right. to be the best prospect yeah. on the planet. But, you know, I, again, I'm not finding it laughable to suggest it, but I, I don't see it. Yeah. In not the, yet. In the crystal ball. Not yet. I don't see not it. Not yet. <laughs> Phone lines are closed. Get out of here. Let's take one last break. But in our future, I see us talking about the Rays closing in on the O's. And I see us discussing whether Dwight Howard could really join the Warriors. That would make a thoroughly lovable team less so. Is this how you watch Bears games with the candles out and stuff like that? Uh, no. Pray. Uh, my- Time to get happy, people. Happy 30th birthday, Dennis Schroeder. This is the third thing Schroeder can celebrate this month. The first being Germany's gold medal in the FIBA World Cup, and the second being voted MVP of that <laughs> tournament. The team's championship run included a two-point win over Team USA in the semis. Overall, Schroeder averaged 19 points and six dimes for a team that he's called the best he's ever been a part of. Ouch. And he's been on a lot of them, six if you include the Raptors who signed him this summer after he spent last season averaging nearly 13-5 and five with LeBron and the Lakers. He was MVP of the FIBA World Cup. There was a game against Lafayette, the quarterfinals. He was 4 for 26. But this is what I like. Look up irony in the dictionary. Dennis Schroeder and Germany winning. It's going to pull LeBron out of international retirement that? to play next summer. We LeBron's really going to give up that. his summer to beat world champion Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder lost a lot of money when NBA teams, yeah. particularly Lakers, they, they didn't go for it. Seems to be reclaiming a little something. Happy anniversary, Bam out of bio on this day three years ago, with the Heat clinging to a two-point lead with seconds remaining. Out of bio blocked Jason Tatum's dunk attempt to seal Miami's win in game one of the Eastern Conference Finals in the Orlando bubble. Miami would go on to win that series four games to two before falling to the Lakers in the finals. Team USA couldn't use out of bio in the World Cup as it lacked size for sure. Bam started on the US's gold medal team in the Tokyo Olympics. It could reprise that role in next summer's Paris games. Pam once told J.J. Redick that every year he sends Tatum a picture of that block. By the way, you mentioned next summer, Jokic could play for Serbia in the Olympics. Jokic in the NBA Finals, 30 points, 14 rebounds, 7 assists per game against Bam This notion that we're a lock to win if LeBron plays and Steph plays and Kevin Durant. Slow the roll, people. Tatum. The world can play now. Stop. This ain't 1992. Happy trails to half the Orioles' two-game lead in the AL East. It's down to one after the Rays' 4-3 win last night. Luke Rayleigh hit a a solo shot to put Tampa ahead for good in the seventh. 
And though the Orioles didn't get the win, center fielder Cedric Mullins authored two outstanding plays. The first was a diving catch in the second to rob Taylor Walls of extra bases. The second was a gorgeous bunt single in the bottom of the fifth that eventually led him to scoring the then tying run. The O's have now lost three straight and faced the Rays three more times this weekend. The Rays bullpen, four innings, no hits, no runs, seven strikeouts. It's a Kevin Cash special. By the way, their bullpen hasn't given up an earned run in the last 34 innings. I'm rooting for Aaron Hicks and the O's. I really am. Yeah. No errors today. Let's jump to the big finish. The Athletic reports that the Warriors will meet with Dwight Howard next week. I hate this. Why? It doesn't make sense. Why don't you like it? Uh, yeah, they need size. I don't want him there. He still has They're something. They're a thoroughly likable team. Playing in Taiwan. Already. Some. The Rangers have closed to win the half game of the Astros in the AL West. Your thoughts? I'm a Strolls guy, sort of, but they swept four-game sweep of Toronto. Yeah. It's meaningful, I would think. Number 11, Tennessee at Florida tomorrow. Who you got? How about this? Tennessee has not won at Florida since 2003. I'm going to years. keep the streak going. 20 years. I'll take the Gators. Okay. NL Cy Young Ooh. contender okay. Justin Steele is on the mound for the Cubs tonight against the Diamondbacks. What do you expect? We need the ace to be the ace. Be a stopper. We've lost five or seven. Got to climb back on. Lost three or four to the Diamondbacks. Can't have that. We need Justin Steele tonight. Last one. WNBA playoffs continue tonight. Who you got? Next? Right, Dallas gets Atlanta. Dallas won the season series 3-0. The Liberty. They get Washington. Washington just beat the Liberty to close out the season. Yeah. But it's going to be Liberty, Liberty aces in the final. We're out of time. Thanks for watching. I'm Frank Isola. I'm Mike Wilbon. Have a great weekend, knucklehead. We're on the deuce. ESPN2. But now, here's Sports Center. Got the Bears winning. Right here. Sunday. The Bears beating Tampa. They better. All right, Frank. What's the storyline to watch this weekend in college football? All right. I know you want me to get real inside college football and tell you it's Alabama coming off a loss. And they're going to play at South Florida in Tampa with a new quarterback, yeah. Taylor Buckner. Yeah. That maybe it's going to be Tennessee at Florida. They haven't won there since 2003, but there is one story right now in college. Northwestern Duke? Not that was my second. Oh, one. okay. There is one story, and it's the guy that used to play in the NFL, was a pretty good baseball player as well. It's Colorado it and Colorado State. It and is. it's not only the game, and we all expect Colorado, which is a 24 point favorite, to dominate. I want to see the little handshake. At the end of the game, we have the Colorado State coach coming out and saying that Dion should take off his hat and his glasses when you address adults. And Dion went back and goes, Dion thinks everyone's out to get him, even though it's become the feel good story of college football. Everybody was out to get Dion, and I'm with Dion, and I don't see ghosts everywhere. But I know this is a crusade. It was pers it's personal for me. And not because I know Dion and like him, because I do, and I've known him for a long time. But I, I wind up, I, I said this. Weeks ago, Frank, weeks ago, before the season started, I was going to root for Dion this season like his last name was Wilbon. Okay? <laughs> and yep. that's what I've done through two weeks, and that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. And I got nothing against Jay Norvell, who was a bear for a minute or two. Nothing. And, I, and you know, I understand what he was saying. My mother also said, take off your yeah. hat and your sunglasses. I, I get that. But there was no reason to bring that up except to be personal. Yeah. So he got what he wanted. You, when, you, but, when you do that, listen... I'm all for saying what you want to say, but there are consequences. And too bad if he didn't realize it at the time. I think he did because Jay Norville seems like a really smart yeah. guy. And so now, look, we don't have Caleb Williams in USC tomorrow. We got Bama at USF, so what? I mean, tomorrow's yep. not the great week of college football. It's I, Dion. Listen, Every time I, Dion walks out there, yep. the, he's the star. I, I love Dion. I was there when he played the football game in the afternoon. I was at the game in Pittsburgh with the Braves when he played the playoff game. I was there when he came back to Atlanta with the 49ers and got into it with Andre Risen. Yeah, this is the feel-good story of college football. Everyone just didn't like A lot of people, including myself, I didn't like him bringing the camera crew in there and telling the players that were on the Colorado team, you guys were all going to be gone. I hear you. You have that. to have those conversations, I'm but you, you can have them privately. privately. To me, that's the only misstep that he's had. Otherwise, he's played within the rules. It's been a great story. I think most people are behind Dion, you know, but I think he you know, likes this us no, against the world. No, see, most people are trying to get behind him now because they look stupid if they're not. That's the only thing. They look bad. And by the way, so it's not a feel-good story. It's the compelling college yep. football story. A lot of folks don't feel good. They don't want to admit it now, yep. but I know what smack they were talking. I don't keep the receipts, but I'm glad Dion does. Who else? All right, that's it. We're done. Back to you. About to be three and nine.